So to kick things off this morning, we will have a spe special message from our senior class officers, President Clancy Scott, Vice President Abby Glenn, and Secretary Gabby Gutierrez. Please welcome them to the podium. Good morning, Mustangs. This is Abby Glenn, your Vice President. Clancy Scott, your Class President. And Gabby Gutierrez, your Class Secretary. I know you thought the last time you would hear my voice over a microphone was my last Mustang morning show. But I failed to mention that I'd be speaking the Class Day speech along with my fellow class officers. The three of us were tasked to write the senior farewell speech and we struggled to find just one word that encompassed our class. But after many brainstorming sessions with Mrs. Bosch, the word we decided upon was resilience. Resilience is the ability to recover quickly from difficulties. From our first day of kindergarten to now, we've experienced a variety of challenges. Maybe it was finally learning to stick up to the bully on the playground or getting through class thanks to Bill Nye and Brain Pop. In 2016, the OTMS middle schoolers recovered from the terror of spotting a clown on the football field. Pokemon Go forced us to learn that it was okay if we couldn't catch the Charizard. Perhaps another example of resilience was illustrated when we finally learned to make rainbow looms without the help of others. It doesn't matter if you're opening a Capri Sun or a Go-Go Squeeze for the first time. Resilience is a matter of perspective. It's important to realize that that resilience looks different to everyone and cannot be compared. Whether it's moving schools or walking away from an unhealthy friendship, each of us have our own example of resilience. Through each of these experiences, the lesson we took away was to understand the significance of valuing ourselves. Throughout our adolescence, we faced hardships and overcame them, but high school introduced us to more. Our freshman year was full of firsts. We'll never forget our very first North time, as everyone crowded around the hot spot in search of a slice of pizza. Attending our first assembly was thrilling. We remember our first football game as high schoolers, feeling invincible until the move back freshman chant humbled us. We tried out for our first sport, frantically texting our parents to pick us up from tryouts so that we weren't waiting alone. We had our first school dance, and maybe even our first encounter with rejection when asking someone to go. Freshman year was a learning experience, and we anticipated sophomore year to be the same. However, we were quickly interrupted by COVID. As tired as we are hearing about it, the truth is that it did alter our high school experience. That two-week vacation that we were all so excited for turned into two years of our lives. Through Zoom calls, we learned the importance of the mute button and figured out how to join class within two minutes of getting out of bed. COVID allowed us to become closer with our families, learn to not take things for granted, and to mature quickly. We survived online learning, various class schedules, and being separated from our friends by alphabet. But we should be so proud of all that we overcame. Thankfully, by the time we were seniors, we got to experience somewhat of a normal school year. We were finally able to be fans in the student section again, and this time in the front row. We were able to participate in all things homecoming. Our arts programs and sports teams excelled tremendously, and we also got to experience our first and last prom. The class of 2022 is extremely impressive, and no matter your dreams, we are confident that you will succeed. For example, the boy who explained how much he loved planes is now learning to fly them. The girl who started dyeing her hair for fun during quarantine is going to beauty school. The boy who thought there wasn't a chance that he would be able to go to college is now playing football on a full tuition scholarship. Class of 2022, we challenge you to go off into the world and chase your dreams when we leave here today. In the words of Ferris Bueller, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop to look around once in a while, you can miss it. So go out there, don't hold back, and be resilient. Now signing off, once and for all, Abby Glenn, Clancy Scott, and Gabby Gutierrez. Congratulations, Mustangs, we made it.